This is a synthesis of ryanodol, which is a complex molecule that's derived from nature. And an interesting part of the structure is that it has five rings and seven hydroxyl groups. And it's really how you connect all the carbons to build up these rings and then add in the hydroxyl groups that makes ryanodol a really challenging molecule to make in the laboratory. We start with a, a much simpler molecule known as s uh, This is a terpene that's readily available. And in the first step of the synthesis, we invented a new dihydroxylation reaction, which allows us to take this molecule that shares some of the features of ryanodol and incorporate these last two hydroxyl groups that are found on the C ring. And so we bring in these hydroxyl groups and then we protect them or we block them. And we do that so that they won't interfere with subsequent chemical reactions. At this stage, we decided it was time to make the D ring of ryanodol. This is a lactone ring and we do this in a few reactions. First, we add three carbons, then we add two carbons, and then we perform a cyclization reaction that's catalyzed by silver and the cyclization gives the lactone. At this stage, we have to continue to build the carbon skeleton, so we add another two carbon fragment and, and we're set up now for one of the key steps in the synthesis, a reaction that's known as the pause and con reaction. This allows us to cyclize the alkene with the alkyne with the incorporation of a molecule of carbon monoxide, and that gives us both the A and B rings of ryanodol and completes four out of five rings within the molecule. Now we have most of the carbons we need for the ryanodol framework, and we just have to work on refunctionalizing the A-ring. We were able to incorporate three oxygen atoms in the A-ring in a single step using a reagent known as selenium dioxide. This was a really remarkable reaction. Um, it simplifies the synthesis dramatically by bringing in all of this functionality in a single step. Uh, completion of the synthesis becomes much easier. First, we incorporate three more carbons and make a molecule that's known as anhydroryanodol. And then um, from anhydroryanodol, we can use two additional synthetic reactions, an oxidation reaction and then a cyclization reaction, which allows us to form the fifth and final ring, the E-ring of ryanodol. So at the end of the day, we've made five rings, we brought in seven hydroxyl groups, and we have a 15-step synthesis of ryanodol. From Caltech, I'm Sarah Reisman.